All right. I had somebody ask a question about uh, coil wiring on uh, R80RT, and I guess it's probably the same for all airheads, probably, or at least close to it. Your power wire is the, I guess it's kind of a blue and green or blue and with a black stripe or something like that. That's your power wire going in. Uh, the other one, this goes to your, your switch up there, to your kill switch, and uh, to your ignition switch. The other wire here is coming off the this side that feeds to both of them is your trigger wire and that's a black one so it's pretty self-explanatory uh, uh, positive ground stuff which you actually run the Normal stuff, you'd have a positive side of the coil would be going to your power end of the switch and your negative side would be the, the trigger side or you know, the side going to your ICM, ignition box, or points. And the only time you'd ever have to change those is if you're switching, the only time I ever change is if I'm switching from a negative ground to a positive ground. I just swap the, swap the coil wires around. So. Negative would be a positive, and positive would be a negative. But like I said, motorcycles, nope, don't ever happen. I know there's a reasoning for it, but a lot of stuff I put coils on, they don't have markings on them, so they go either way. Uh, it, you know, if you're converting it over to uh, Dyna coils or something, just follow the directions that Dyna gives you. So... Blue and blue and gray, or blue and green, or whatever that color is. It's basically a blue wire with a stripe on it. That's your positive side. Your negative side is the other one. The, the, the wire that feeds both coils together. That's your that's your negative, or uh, that's your trigger side. I call it trigger side because it's what it does. It goes to your trigger. But uh, that's it for the coils. Uh, Another pet peeve of mine is, uh, for some reason, guys like to leave their ignition switches on for inordinately long amounts of time. And on really modern stuff, it won't matter because uh, it cuts off. But anything older, you're supplying power to the coils the whole time. And you can destroy a damp, overheat the coil because it's it's. You know, coil builds up energy, it holds it until it triggers to release it. Well, if you're not releasing it, you just you just got it constantly on, it's going to overheat. And uh, really, that's about it. Uh, as far as what ohm coils you're using, that, I mean, really, that depends on the ignition system you're using. I don't I don't know what these are supposed to be if these are 1.53 3, 1.53 or 5 ohm coils and I don't really care at this point in time because I'm not changing anything on here I'm just wanted to show uh, I think his name is Don just wanted to show Don how the coil wiring went because he had a question about it And if you have these off, it's not a bad idea to shoot a little uh, dielectric grease in there. I already greased these things up when I replaced them. I just replaced, uh, replaced the wires on this thing. Okay. That's it for the coils. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you guys like my content, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And uh, well, uh, I don't even know if you saw the coils or not.
I guess you did. So I'll, I'll go through and check it. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. And good luck, Don.